Okay, hello again, says GHQ Virgil, and welcome back to Let's Play Penumbra Black Plague, Part 7. Now, in last video, I uh, totally beat the shit out of a monster thing. Uh, I threw a box at its head, because I'm a badass. And I pretty much ran, because I totally knew where, where to go. Um, I, oh, fuck! What the fuck? Okay. Let's not do that again. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I just had a little brain lapse of stupid there. Alright, let's... Eh? No. Okay. Uh, let's get this barrel. And, uh, let's rotate you. No, don't. There you go. That, no. Don't you do... No, don't you fuck it. There. Ha ha! Alright. There we go. Now, all I got to do is climb. Uh, and there we are. And we have another save point. Doctor, Doctor Richard Eminis. Theoretic effects of controlled infection. Report requested by Overseer Frisk on behalf of the Elevated. For the record, I see no value in recording this information at such an early stage in the project. However, were we to assume that the virus could somehow infect a host without fully taking control of its upper brain functions, excuse me, we might observe the following. Fact. Translator Lafresque, in his ignored efforts, prevented to the release of the virus, correctly predicted the virus was capable of manipulating the host's motor neuron functions. Theory. Where an instance of the infection controlled and sustained, we may find that A. The virus seeks to help its host to keep its host alive in whatever way possible. Suicide would be against the rules. Oh, that's what happened to Red, isn't it? He, uh, in the first game, I'll let you know. Uh, and that B, the virus gains control over some or all sensory faculties, facilitating just such an objective. Fact, when the virus infects a host of any species, it adapts the organism's brain functions as best it can to suit its own purposes. Theory, were the virus unable to fully take hold, it may develop some partitioning of the host's consciousness. Effect effectively perverting a small corner of the host's mind into a form of secondary personality. Fact, the Turngat virus was released from, according to Lafresque, a tomb many centuries old. Theory, were some mental segmentation to occur, it seems plausible to suggest that each personality, the virus and the host, may have access to one another's memories. Given the age of the virus, this may be a substantial collection. It should, be, it should be carefully noted that the bulk of the above remains conjecture, and should not be relied upon in any archaic protocol. So for those of you who don't know about Penumbra anyway, the against the rules part, um, was something I'm, that was... I'm not you. I'm part of something larger. You interrupted we me, are dude. Nothing. We are a mistake. I need to rejoin them. Release me. Let me out. This is not right. I am I totally not controlling this. I this am is them. There should all the be computer. My no head is off the mouse right now. I... My hand yeah. was completely off the mouse when this I did that. This is not the first time. Another was infected. Red. He so wanted to, but we would not let him die. Did he call us a disease? Um, yeah, so that explained what I was totally going to do, or explain. Uh, Red was infected by that, and we didn't find out till much later. He tried to commit suicide, there was a noose in his room, but uh, it ended up him begging us to burn him alive in the incinerator, 
and he had the key uh, at the end, and we couldn't really say no, so that happened. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how the first one ended. It wasn't very long. I mean, if you have, you know, the interest, I would definitely recommend playing it. It was actually pretty good. Um, all right. So I'm doing some stacking. I'm going to save real quick because I don't want to get bitch slapped and have to come back all the way here. There's something reassuring about that feeling. I've, like, I've got one last thing to worry about. I think that's just the default. You have saved your game message. Looks heavy and welded shut. The beams will trigger the explosives for sure. Better stay out of their way. Oh, they're explosives. That's stupid. Yeah! I win. I'm smart. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ah, that guy. Oh, fuck. That's actually hurting me. There's a gaseous substance in there. Um, I'm as fit as can be expected. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna go ahead and... God, I really... Gas mask. Okay. Got the gas mask on. Oh, my vision is fucked. Why is it doing all scary shit? Why is it doing scary music? I didn't get here earlier. Power switch. Okay. Looks like his face melted. I think I'm going to be sick. You're a little bitch. Um, what is this power switch for? Nothing, apparently. Okay, oh, whoa! Cool! I turned it off. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. That is just not working with me. And... Okay, so what I've learned is if there's a monster, jump on something because they cannot get to you. Um, I'm gonna save real quick. May never get used to that. If there's a monster, jump on something. Oh, what the balls? Ah, whoa! <laughs> What the fuck? Fuck you, dude. You're a dick. I don't like you. I still hear the scurrying. Like the little scuttling noise that those things make. It's like right there or something. I'm gonna find this thing. Where is it? It's like always behind me. Always hearing the song coming from behind me. Do a quick sweep of the room, make sure I didn't miss anything. What is that? I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of weird statue. Almost looks like a collector's item. Oh, one of these things in games. I'm guessing, like, collecting all of them unlocks, like, artwork or some shit. So I'm gonna. Get you go! Oh, so pro. I'm awesome. All right, let's go back out here. Oh, I'm in here again. Oh, God damn it. This thing yells at me, I swear to God. Got my safety box. Got it all ready. Fuck off with ya. Hello? Okay. 
Okay. Open it. Really? Fuck! Fuck you! I'm out of here! Stun him, brother! Free as both! Yeah. So that happened. Um. Whew. Heart's pumping, kinda. Alright, um, actually. Before I go and deal with that, ow, I'm gonna get owned by my own stupidity. Uh, before I go have some fun with that, I'm gonna try and get to this light switch. Oh, sweet. Meh. Power switch. Oh, damn it. All right, I'm gonna save and I'm actually going to end this video because I'm at, I'm a little close to the limit and yeah. So I will see you all in part eight of Let's Play Penumbra Black Plague. Thanks for watching, this is GHQ Virgil.